Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh Heron. Thanks for watching the Moto America YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Defending champ, Tyler O'Hara. As always, when those red lights go off, we go racing, revs are up. Super Hooligan for green. Pretty good start up front. Let's see what happens here. And Andy does lead in. Look at Tyler, he's gonna try and ramp the outside. Is he gonna try and dive? No, elects not to. A couple of guys running a little wide at the turn into the chicane. And Stefano Mesa didn't quite get the launch that I thought he might here. Let's see what he's gonna be able to do. He loses a quick spot there as they climb the ridge. Yeah, Andy Debrino off to a rocketing start, just like he had yesterday. You know, great start leading from pole position. It's always a nice feeling to lead that first lap. And he knows he's got the speed to get the job done. We'll see if today, because he hasn't ridden that super sport bike yet, if he can get Look it done. Look at Tyler around oh. the outside, though. What a move by Tyler O'Hara. Uh, just outside rim shot and into the front he goes. So now Andy Debrino, uh, now he's got to figure out a way to stay with Tyler, get close, and then get after him. And you talked about that bike uh, being a little lighter, a little bit more agile. Uh, you know, if he can stay and just hound Tyler, uh, I don't know how much uh, wear these Dunlops are going to get here, uh, but he's got to just, uh, he's got to stay right there, doesn't he? I mean, Andy ran a smoking fast lap in qualifying, so, yeah. you know, I, I'm kind of thinking he's going to be able to stay with them and get them back, but we'll see. Um, maybe he had a fluke lap in qualifying. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't think so. I mean, he knows That's his right. place so well, right? I mean, yeah, it's like yeah. those like the back of his hand. Uh, looks like we hear this may be Stephen. Sh That's number 91, actually, Talix Taylor having a problem. We heard Stephen Sh uh, Shakespeare, the 172, had a little issue as well. But what a shame for uh, Alex Taylor out of Milwaukee, Oregon, uh, one of the local riders here in the gray area racing KTM. But uh, here we go, onto the front straight, lap one in the books. Got Jake Lewis trying to hang in there on the Harley-Davidson Pan America. You know, we've, we've restricted those bikes a little bit. Um, the intake has been restricted, and we saw it at Daytona. And it did make a big difference on the front straightaway, but here we go, the crash. Let's see what happens here. Oh, right there, just uh, got into the back of somebody. Right, I couldn't get the number. Uh, it was right in front of him. Starting to show, I think, that the SNS guys have figured a few things out on the chassis. Um, I know that we've been struggling a little bit with the chassis, but for them to be able to get out in front like this, in front of the KTM, and get the job done on such a twisty track is showing that the development is, is working, and they're doing the right things for the chassis. Absolutely, and a guy that we were expecting to really be a factor here in this race after a strong qualifying and fourth, Jake Lewis has plummeted down the order. What are you hearing, Michael? Yeah, just uh, when you mentioned about Jake Lewis, I just saw on our timing screens here, he was uh, literally dropping down the order. He has come across the line in 18th position, and now we're getting live pictures. There is clearly some issue that uh, has befallen, uh, sadly for him, uh, the number 85 of Jake Lewis. So it looks as though the pictures that we're seeing, this could be a retirement. Sad to see. Yeah, it is. I mean, he has really been on form here this weekend. I think uh, I think this track really suits him. He's uh, really been enjoying it. And uh, this is unfortunate because he was going to be a real factor. Yeah, he was the top, the top Harley Davidson out on the grid. He was in fourth place trailing those guys. Just floats it up the inside roll. Yeah, that's the same spot he got him yesterday. Yep, yeah. same place. It's nice when you're able to get comfortable in, in a certain corner. There's just those. And look at that margin. He's trimmed it down to three tenths officially. We don't really need that to, that timing right there. We can see him just about three bike lengths back. So this is it. Big lead back to Debrino. So it's really mano a mano right now. Let's see what he's going to be able to do. Tyler's got to really put a lap together here. Certainly know he's capable of that. What's going to happen, Roland? What's your take? Uh, you know, it's always tough when you're racing your teammate because you know you're on the exact same equipment. So you really got to trust in your abilities when you're getting in the corner quick and make, you know, make the most of those corners that you can really get through quick or, or that you think you have a little bit of an advantage to try and get it set up. But they look like they have pretty equal corner speed. Boy, don't they? Look at that never-ending turn six. Really pace the uh, left side of those tires, doesn't it? Here comes oh. Mick Williams looking to the inside. Oh, that couldn't have been more than a foot that separated them as McWilliams thought, well, is that my spot? Maybe. Now, up the hill we go. Gosh, Jeremy. Oh, some traffic Jeremy as well. Of these. And Jeremy no. has to get on the curb. Oh, and he's inside. Almost come together. And that really, I don't think Jeremy was intending to try the pass there. He just got pinched and uh, he was in so tight and fast. He didn't have much of an option. Now, here's the run out of 12. It is a drag race and going to be a breaking duel. McWilliams swings to the outside. Now, here he comes down to the inside. Does he get it stopped? And Tyler, they touch. They, hit. they touch. Oh, Tyler's in the dirt. Tyler's in the dirt. Oh, but he, gosh, buddy. oh he keeps it upright. What a duel. And uh, McWilliams.
Chiefs. He wanted this one bad, and we said yesterday that Tyler came from Olympia to make that pass. Well, McWilliams came from Seattle to make that one. Wow, what a scrap to the end. Here comes Andy DeBrino coming through, filling out the podium. And uh, here comes the number 137, Stefano Mesa. He's had a kind of a rough weekend here, but he's going to bring it home on the Energica into a solid sixth place finish, I think. As he looks back, that's A.J. Peasley in the KTM, not too far back. But there you go. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ryder was turning in. And look, at he's just sliding, trying not to hit Tyler. And at this point, because he had to get out of it so much, I kind of thought, well, that might be it here. Uh, but Jeremy's run through 12. And then look how far back he comes from. You know, Tyler's going like to try Tyler the almost knew he was coming because he picked it up a little bit when yep. he went in. But he let off the brakes early. And then they touched, but that's a racing incident. I mean, sure. there, that that reminds me of that valet pass on Stoner and Laguna. <laughs> They're both <laughs> into the dirt. Well, and I mean, obviously Tyler thought oh! I could make. Ooh, 